Hello, thank you for joining me, Chris, here with Game Gumshoes. Uh, today's game that I would like to present to you is Campbell's Alphabet Dice Game. It's from TDC Game. Uh, their big game out is um, Dirty Minds, and uh, they also have Reminiscing that are two of their big ones. But this one you can find at big box stores and just about everywhere. So, you know, look for it. I usually cover components, so easy enough. This is your container. Yes, it looks like a standard Campbell soup can. You got your ingredients, uh, your, uh, your nutrition. Basically, this is a, uh, a quick start for your rules. Um, down here it says two to six players, eight and up. You can actually go lower than that. Um, in fact, we'll cover that here in a minute. You have the rule sheet. The rule sheet's good. Folds up all nice and neat and you stuff it inside your can. But here's the thing. You have rule sheets on the back. Now I highly recommend you go out and print your own rule sheet from this. Uh, take it Kinko's, someplace like that, Xerox it, print them off a bunch of copies and use the copies or just write your scores down on a sheet of paper. Um, not that hard. It breaks it down to how many players, how many servings, your score. Not rocket science. Last thing that is a component for this game are the dice. Now, 36 dice in this game. You'll notice that they have black and red letters. The only reason this is important is for the scoring when you're playing later. Um, your black letters are worth one point. Red letters are worth twice, or two. The uh, thing is, this kind of scores like golf. You kind of want to have a low score rather than a high score. Uh, so, you know, shoot for the, uh, the best. Uh, try to get rid of most of your dice. How you play is each player... Well, first you decide how many people are playing. And then you divide the dice up evenly amongst those players. Now, you get to take turns. Uh, kind of like Scrabble. The first person lays down a word... And then the next person plays off of that word until you kind of run out of, well, in this case, dice in your pool. After uh, that point, you can actually take, and after everybody's gone around and couldn't do anything, you can, what they do, I think they call it stir the pot, where everybody gets to pick up the remaining dice, roll them, and gives them another chance. Uh, they also have something where you can take one letter out of a word, pull it out, swap in one of your own letters to make a totally new word. But here's the catch. If you do that, you only get one chance to do it. And there are four rounds to the game. So, you know, use it wisely. Uh, the other thing is, with the four rounds, nah, you have three standard rounds, and then you have what they call the super serving. And in the super serving, everything is doubled. So you definitely want to win that round if you can. Um, I found that, like Scrabble, it's, it's, it's kind of a fun game to learn, to uh, learn new words, uh, to teach little kids how to spell. Uh, the one thing that this has over Scrabble is that you're not restricted to a board. Um, yes, you do have to have, you know, lines of words and stuff like that if you're playing the actual game. But, and this is something you could probably do with Scrabble board too if you really wanted to, but with these dice, you could actually sit and just play with a small child and allow them to make up two-letter words, three-letter words, stuff like that, and just hand them up, uh, uh, just give them a bunch of dice and let them go at it. It's amazing the creativity that comes from children and if you actually 
you know, sit there and make it a game to spell words, not just, you know, the game that's on these rules, but, you know, have fun with it. And kids will start building up, you know, better vocabulary, and they'll be able to do a lot with this game, whether they're playing the game or if they're having fun. Now, for full details on, you know, every little ounce of how you play the game, you can always go to TDC's website, get a copy of the rules, come to me to get the rules, or you can just read my written review. Uh, it's on our Facebook page. It'll be on the uh, bottom of the video here. Uh, and we'll also have it over at uh, BoardGameGeek and on Amazon.com. So uh, thank you for your time, and uh, happy gaming.